To smart quantize or not? That is the question. I want to talk to you about this amazing feature that not a lot of people know about. But before I do, did you know that you can do something called input quantize? Now, most people, when they work in their DAW, they record and then they stop the playback. They double click the region, they go into the piano roll, and then they quantize. Well, I'm suggesting that we do it another way. So let me show you the original way of doing this. All right, I'm going to record to the click. And because that was performed so badly, I would double click, hit Command A, hit Q to quantize everything and make sure everything is on time. Check it out. Originally, it looked with no quantize like this. So you can see pretty bad, not on the grid at all. Another way you can approach it, which is way more efficient, is to set the quantize setting beforehand. This is called input quantize. And now, regardless of my performance, Logic's MIDI events will lock to the grid. They'll be quantized so that I don't have to do it thereafter. So let me show you what I mean. I'm set to 1 16th. I'm going to play the same part. I never claimed to be a drummer. So I double click and everything has already been quantized for me. Check it out. Now you heard there that it kind of stumbled on itself. That's because I played it too early. So there are times where you're gonna have to move uh, the MIDI event regions to the appropriate place. Here, I would just nudge these over to the right. Same here. Same here, I think. Okay, so you get the point. Now, some would argue that because everything is on the grid, that it's not human, it loses groove or feel. So I'm gonna give you the tool that can best be used to find that middle ground between something being perfectly quantized and machine-like and something being sloppy and, you know, just not really working. And it's called Smart Quantize. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play that same part except this time I'm going to control click up here in the region inspector and select smart quantize. The quantization value is the same. And now I'm gonna play that same part. Here we go. So when we look a little bit further, you'll find that while it is quantized, it's not perfectly on the grid. So think of smart quantize as a way to, to perform the quantize function, but make it sound more like a human, um, like the performance is more liable to, to error. So these are the kinds of small changes and, and tempo um, decisions that would happen naturally when a drummer would perform a part of this nature. Check it out. take that same part and I use 
the regular quantize feature, look at what happens to the notes. So I'm going to control click, go back to the classic quantize feature, and then now everything is back to the grid. So if you want something to sound more human-like, you want it to have that, that variability, that you want to use smart quantize. Now bear in mind, I would still go over it with a fine tooth comb just to make sure it sounds just the way I want it to. Um, but I love this feature and I think it's, it's amazing that they've now implemented it into Logic. And I just want to spread the good word because I don't hear enough about it. And so anyhow, I hope you enjoy. Thank you very much. I'll see you on the next video.